It really gives me very great pleasure to welcome you all to Canada uh, and uh, to Toronto on behalf of Grand Challenges Canada and our partner organizations. It's really terrific to see such a, a great uh, crowd here. Uh, we're firmly committed at Grand Challenges Canada to uh, fostering excellent science uh, from low and middle income countries uh, against uh, global challenges. And that's really our common mission uh, for the benefit of, uh, of the health of the poor. So I'm very glad that we can all be here together um, to, uh, to help develop your proposals. There's a couple of different groups of people here. Uh, uh, one group that's related to the uh, request for proposals on diagnostics and another group that's preparing Grand Challenge Explorations Phase Two proposals. And, and we very much welcome you both. Uh, uh, Grand Challenges Canada is, a, is an independent organization with its own board chaired by a businessman and philanthropist by the name of Joseph Rotman. And our mission is to identify global grand challenges in health, to uh, uh, fund a community of innovators uh, to tackle those challenges, and also to assist with the dissemination and, and uh, commercialization of solutions that arise. And so um, we're very pleased to be able to pursue this uh, this, uh, this mission with you. Canada, in fact, is the first country to take a Grand Challenges approach to uh, international development. Um, we're also very pleased to be working with our partners, who I'd like to thank and introduce now. Um, in the Grand Challenges Canada Consortium, uh, working towards this mission I just described, uh, we work very closely with the International Development Research Centre, which is really a jewel uh, in Canada's crown. It's celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. Its uh, motto is Science for Humanity. Many of you will know of IDRC and very pleased to have uh, Michael Clark, my colleague here representing IDRC. Michael, thank you very much uh, for coming and uh, for assisting with the workshop. Thank you. Uh, we also have uh, in our consortium the Canadian Institutes of Health Research, which is the premier domestic um, health research agency in the country. It's, for instance, like our version of the U.S. National Institutes of Health. Uh, CIHR uh, leads our processes of peer review in terms of uh, proposals. And uh, very pleased uh, to introduce you uh, to Pierre Chartrand and Alison Jackson, who are here for CIHR. Uh, Pierre and Alison, thank you very much for coming. Much appreciated. On these two particular uh, sets of uh, proposals, um, namely the request for proposals on point-of-care diagnostics, the plug-and-play uh, version, and uh, the uh, Grand Challenge Explorations Phase 2. We also have a, uh, a terrific partner in the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Uh, the Gates Foundation was the progenitor of the ideas actually behind the diagnostics uh, proposal, and we've worked very closely with them uh, as, uh, in, in Grand Challenges Canada and very uh, pleased to introduce you to our colleagues from the Gates Foundation, Steve Buxbaum, who's here in the front row, and Ling Wong, who I saw earlier, who's there at this table. So Steve and Ling, thank you very much for coming. I'd also like to thank all the folks in Grand Challenges Canada who helped us develop this workshop. You met Andrew Taylor, he mentioned Zena, Claude, Ray, and uh, very soon you'll be hearing from Carly Silver, who really helped to uh, design the uh, workshop and my own uh, cousin and colleague Abdullah Dar, who's in the front row, who's the Chief Scientific Officer at Grand Challenges Canada. So thank you all very much. Um, I thought it might be helpful. Uh, I know this will be a little bit uh, uh, disruptive, just but just by way of time, it would be really great to go around. I think everyone would want to know uh, everybody else and where they're from. So if I could just, I'll go around quickly with the microphone. And if you could maybe just introduce yourself, where you're from, and whether you're uh, doing a Grand Challenge Exploration Phase 2 or a, uh, or, a, um, uh, or, a, or a point of care diagnostic. We also have several mentors in the room, and I'm looking around, but we'll catch up to them as we go. And you introduce yourself as, uh, as such. I, I think I see Pradip there, right? And thank you so much, Pradip, for coming. He's going to have a starring role uh, early on, as you'll see. And we have some other colleagues from Grand Challenges Canada. We'll introduce as we go. But I think it's very important for everybody to know everyone else. We're going to spend three days together, uh, well, two or three, 
um, and Andrew will describe that. We have a two-day proposal development workshop, and then on the third day for the diagnostics and partnering with, uh, with Canadian scientists. So let me just go around and, and ask you to introduce yourself and welcome you to Canada, and we're very, very pleased to have you. And our first uh, candidate here is... Uh, myself Rangin from uh, New Delhi. I work on uh, uh, point of care diagnostic development for TB, and uh, the uh, I got funding from Great, uh, Gates Grand Challenge Initiative. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Welcome. Hi. Good morning to all of you. I am Ajay Tirumala, representing Find Uganda and Point of Care Diagnostics. Thank you. Thank you, Ajay. Yeah, uh, I'm Abani Nag from Kolkata, Vivekananda International Health Center. I'm working on uh, ultrasonography as markers in liver changes in malaria cases, and we got the third. Uh, we got the grant in the third round, and uh, I'm also working. With me is uh, Dr. Amir Kumar Hachi, who is also uh, a co-principal investigator in the project. Great. So that's a grand challenge exploration, yeah. right? Okay. Terrific. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Deepak Gaur, and I work at the International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology uh, at New Delhi. Ranjan is my colleague, and I got a Grand Challenges Explorations grant under the round three, and I work on developing novel blood stage malaria vaccines. And thank you very much. Really appreciate this workshop. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. My name is Patty Garcia. I'm the former chief of the National Institute of Health in Peru, and I'm a professor at the Universidad Peruana Cayetano Heredia. And I'm here, I'm very thankful, I'm here uh, for the POC diagnostics, and we work on STDs, and we're very interested in maternal health and child health. Great. Thank you. Well, thank you for coming, much appreciated. Morning, everyone. Um, my name is Blake Ball. I'm uh, here representing my colleagues from the University of Nairobi. I'm with the University of Manitoba and the Public Health Agency of Canada. And uh, I'm here working on uh, point of care diagnostics for CD4 enumeration. Thank you. Uh, hi, I'm Sriram Krishnan. I'm representing uh, University of Cape Town, South Africa. Uh, we're developing a solution for TB diagnostics. Uh, hi, I'm Justin Udon here representing the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research from South Africa. I'm a research group leader there, and I'm here for point of care diagnostics. Thank you, Justin. Hello, my name is Gustavo Fioravante Vieira. I'm from Brazil and I am a Grand Challenge Exploration Round 2. Welcome. Hi, I'm Rebecca Lackman. Um, I'm a Program Officer with Grand Challenges Canada and today is my first day. Uh, very, very excited to meet all of you. <laughs> yeah, welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome. Hi, uh, my name is Yuling Cheng. I just got, got here just in time. Um, I'm a professor at the University of Toronto, and I was one of the reviewers for the letters of intent uh, for Grand Challenges Canada. Great. And Yuling's with the engineering faculty. Yeah. Hi, I'm Dave Goldfarb. I'm representing the University of Botswana for the point of care diagnostics. We're looking at stool-borne pathogens. Hi, my name is uh, Dhananjay Dendukuri, and I'm representing a startup company in Bangalore called Achira Labs. Uh, we're developing point of care uh, immunoassays, and I'm here for the, uh, the point of care diagnostics. Thanks. Thank you. Um, my name is Sungano Marakurwa. I'm based at uh, Malaria Institute Macha in Zambia, and I'm here for uh, GCE phase two. My name is Ola Dele. You can just call me Ola. I'm from Nigeria, and I'm working on um, robotic health assistance. To man for the management of uh, malaria, that's for GCE. I must appreciate the organizers of this uh, workshop, and I would like you to join me in clapping for them, please. Hello, I am Golam Rabbani from uh, International Center for Diarrheal Disease Research Institute in Bangladesh. I am with the Grand Challenge Explorations, working on the effect of an improved cook stoves to reduce burden of childhood pneumonia. Thank you. And my name is Fredros Okumu from Ifakara Health Institute. I also have a Grand Challenges Exploration Grant applying for phase two. Hey. Nice to see you again, Fredros. Good. My name is Suvakamet uh, Mahasri Mongkon. I'm representing the Thailand Center for Excellence in Lifestyle. We are doing the 
cost effectiveness analysis for the pharmacogenomics test. Hey. Hello, good morning everyone. My name is Yusa Chaikletkao. I'm from uh, Mahidon University from Thailand. And uh, we are um, representing the points of care uh, or diagnosis from the pharmacogenomic testing. Good morning. I'm uh, Nguyen Van King. I'm a director of the National Hospital for Tropical Disease in Vietnam. It's a uh, leadership for uh, infectious disease and tropical disease in Vietnam. So I'm coming here with the uh, presentation of the point of care diagnostic. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Jennifer Bell, and I'm here with Grand Challenges Canada. Hello. My name is Stuart Wilson. I represent a company in South Africa called MedTech, and we're working on point of care. Thank you. Welcome. Hi, good morning. My name is Stephen Hoffman. I'm from Gilbert's LLP, a law firm based here in uh, Toronto, focusing on intellectual property. And we're here um, helping um, Grand Challenges Canada with all of its legal needs. Thank you. Hi, I'm uh, Wendy Stevens, uh, Professor and Head of Molecular Medicine and Hematology at Wits University. Interest in diagnosis and monitoring of HIV and TB, and we're here for the point of care diagnostics. And Leslie Scott, I work with Wendy Stevens from Wits University and the NHLS in Johannesburg, South Africa. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Noelle Huskins. I'm with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and I'm the Phase Two Program Coordinator. Thank you, Noelle. I think here, should we start here and then go around? Hi, I'm Ken Simiu with MRC here in Toronto. Hi, good morning everyone. I'm Herman Henostrosa from the Center for Infectious Disease Research in Zambia and working in point of care diagnostics. Hi, my name is Margaret Njaroge with Med Biotech Laboratories. Uh, round three, um, phase one, uh, recipient of a grant and hoping for a phase two. Thanks. Good morning, I'm Enrique Renault. I work in the uh, Biotechnology Institute of the National University of Mexico and I am here for phase two. GC. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Yuri Makako from University of Ghana. I'm working towards the development of a urine-based diagnostic test for malaria, and I'm here for GC phase two. Thank you. My name is Amakiris Katamba. I'm from Makere University, Uganda. I'm here for GC phase two. We are trying to look at the implementation of mad pathogen point of care in the East African region. Nice to meet you, Achilles. Hello. And then uh, we missed a couple of people here. Please. My name is Jaiki Obi. I'm from the University of Eastern Africa, Baraton, Kenya. I'm here for the GCE phase two, and we are working on malaria diagnosis using a chemical reaction. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Zach Ngalo. I'm from the University of Eastern Africa, Baraton. We're with Jackie. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Jocelyn Mackey. I'm uh, with my colleague here, Stephen. I'm a lawyer, intellectual property lawyer, and I'm a mentor to help, particularly with the global access strategy. Hello. <coughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Lin, who you can also call me Michael. I'm from China. Uh, our company name is U-Star uh, Biotechnologies bio Limitation. Uh, also, we Although we are a small company right now, but we have a very good, excellent uh, technology already. I think, you know, so we are here, want to work, all of you work together to work on the, you know, the project for POC, POT, POCT, and work together to, for the TB. Thank you very much. Thank you. Morning. Uh, my name is Colin Xu. I also work in... Uh, in Yosta in from Hangzhou, uh, I work on Morocco by Morocco by Sticks. Hello, another one from Yosta because uh, we ha have three a letter of intent selected for, for for this program, so we have three colleagues together. So we are proud to be here. Thank you, everybody. Hello, everyone. My name is Zing Liu. Zing is very uh, difficult to pronounce. It means earthquake. Uh, so, if you like, you can call me Richard. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm a professor in chemistry at the uh, Nanjing University, China. 
uh, among my research interests, I'm very, uh, uh, very extensively interested in sample, sampling and sample preparation technique. Thank you very much. Thank you, Earthquake. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jocelyn Clark. I work with the Grand Challenges team and I am also a senior editor at PLOS Medicine, an open access medical journal. And I'm here today as a mentor and very much looking forward to offering any support and assistance I can. Thank you. That table started and ended with a Jocelyn, by the way. <laughs> Hello, good morning everyone. My name is uh, Pradeep Das. I'm a director of Rajan Memorial Institute of Medical Sciences situated in Patna, Bihar one of the most uh, poorest state of India, and we work on Lishmania. Because out of 37 districts of uh, Bihar, 31 is prone for Lishmania. So we work, and we are, I'm here to represent my institute for POC. Hello, um, my name is uh, Rashidul Hab. I am from the International Center for Diarrheal Disease Research. Uh, I'm here with, the, with my colleague, Dr. Dinesh, for the Grand Challenge Exploration. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. My name is Peter Yiga. I'm from a small company called Ad Hoc Works in South Africa. And uh, we're developing a small device. It's a fermentation-based technology that we're using. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Soumya Mukherjee from Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay where I'm a professor in the Department of Bioscience and Bioengineering, and I head the Center for Research in Nanotechnology and Sciences. Uh, so we have submitted a LOI in the, the GCC for a point of care diagnostics, particularly uh, essentially developing a platform, but validating it with uh, TB. Hi, I'm Chandrasekhar Nair. I uh, represent my company, Big Tech Labs, uh, which is a company from Bangalore working in point of care diagnostics. I'm here for the point of care diagnostics program. Yeah, I'm Pradeep Prasad. I'm from uh, University of Washington in Seattle, where I'm a professor of chemistry and a, a joint appointment in Department of Global Health. Good morning, everybody. I am Dinesh Mondal from uh, the International Center uh, for Diarrheal Disease Research in Bangladesh. Uh, I'm working on the deadly disease, uh, how to prevent the deadly disease visceral leishmaniasis, and I'm from the GCE round two. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm Abdullah Dar from here, from GCC, where I'm the chief scientist. I'm also a professor of public health sciences and of surgery here at the University of Toronto. Good morning. I'm Chabra from Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Medical Sciences, Sevagram in Maharashtra, in, in, from India. And uh, I'm basically an obstetrician gynecologist. Presently, I'm director, professor of OBJ and, and dean of the institution. And I'm here for a multiplex point of care diagnostic about HIV, syphilis, syphilis and hepatitis, B and C. Thank you. I'm Bongko Thang Shumpu from Biotech, uh, NASDAQ. I'm Lao, I'm from GCE allow to focus on synthesis of antimalarial compounds. Uh, hello, I'm Philip Shaw, also from the same institute as Bangkok in Thailand, and I'm a GCE round three, Audi. Hi, uh, my name is Chairat Uthai Pibun from uh, the same team from International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, or Biotech Thailand. Uh, we are here for uh, GCE uh, round two. Hi, I'm Alison Jackson from the Canadian Institutes of Health Research. Thanks. Andrew Yamet, Carly. Hi, I'm Carly Silver, and I'm a program officer with Grand Challenges Canada. Hi, good morning. My name is Ling Wong. I'm at the Bill Melinda Gates Foundation, and I lead the Grand Challenge Explorations Initiative. Good morning. I'm uh, Julius Sharfstein from Federal University of Rio de Janeiro. I'm a grantee, uh, phase one. Uh, heading to phase two, hopefully, uh, and uh, working on new strategies for vaccination against uh, infection by intracellular pathogens. Thank you very much. I might get in a little bit of trouble for having done that, uh, but I think it's very worth the time. You know, to see the wealth of knowledge, experience, and uh, the breadth of people in the room is really uh, awe-inspiring, and it's really uh, terrific. Uh, that you've all come, and we, we very much appreciate it. 
Um, I'd now like to ask uh, uh, some of our partners just to uh, uh, say a word of uh, welcome. And uh, actually, maybe I'll, I'll do it in the same order I introduced it. And Michael, would you uh, say a word of welcome from uh, IDRC? Thank you very much. Thank you, Peter. Uh, my name is Michael Clark. I'm the director of the Global Health Programming uh, at the International Development Research Centre called Research uh, for Health Equity um, at IDRC. Um, I'm very, very pleased uh, to be here. Um, IDRC plays a, a pivotal role, as do all three of our, um, the partners in the consortium. Um, that was funded by the Government of Canada uh, in 2008 um, in an envelope that was called the Development Innovation Fund. And it was a very uh, unique and, um, I would say, innovative approach to uh, supporting uh, research on global health issues uh, in developing countries, by developing countries. It fits very well with IDRC's mandate um, of supporting uh, researchers uh, in low and middle income countries. Uh, building capacity in those countries, our, our fundamental belief uh, is that the outputs of research are critical to development and the activity of research itself uh, is a critical part of the development process. So IDRC's role in this is um, essentially to uh, oversee uh, the Development Innovation Fund uh, to work very closely with Grand Challenges Canada uh, and our colleagues at the Canadian Institutes of Health Research uh, to ensure that this program over the next five or six years uh, sets out uh, to accomplish uh, what it is meant to do. Um, and we'll talk about that, I, I assume, at some point, what the overall vision is uh, for the Development Innovation Fund uh, that GCC is implementing. Um, and uh, let me just say again how pleased I am uh, to be here. Uh, and I hope over the next, I'm only here for today, uh, but I'm going to try and do the rounds um, and meet as many of you as I possibly can. Uh, being a, a former parasitologist, um, I'd love to talk to all the Leishmania folks in the room and uh, people who are working on intracellular pathogens. So um, please do come up and, and uh, buttonhole me if you can. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Michael, and we appreciate very much working with you and with IDRC, which is a terrific organization. And another terrific organization is CIHR and Pierre Chartrand. Uh, you're the chief uh, scientist and uh, uh, VP research for CIHR, and we very much appreciate uh, uh, your being here. Would you say a few words of welcome? Yes. Well, first I would like to welcome you like Michael has said, it's, uh, it's, we're very excited about uh, this initiative and uh, we're very pleased to be part of it. The Canadian Institute of Health Research are the federal funding agency for health research and our mandate is to create knowledge, but as importantly to translate that knowledge into benefits for the health, obviously of Canadians, but also for everybody else in the world. And we feel that uh, such initiatives are extremely important to engage uh, all the uh, potential uh, countries into the development of new avenues uh, to tackle very, very important problems. And we also strongly believe that we've got as much to learn from your work that you might have uh, benefits from, uh, from the work that is ongoing in Canada. So again, we're very excited to be here. We're very pleased that uh, you, uh, you came. And uh, if you have any questions or any uh, information that you'd like to find from the Canadian, about the Canadian Institute of Health Research, uh, please uh, come and ask. Thanks. Thank you, Pierre. Merci bien. And uh, 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 the third uh, partner that I'd like to introduce, uh, specifically for these two programs, uh, and uh, they've been a terrific partner as well as the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And Steve Buxbaum is here from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Steve, would you say a few words of welcome? Uh, sure, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here and thanks for going around the room. I think it's just really exciting, exciting group, real pleasure to be here. Um, I guess I just make a couple remarks. Uh, you know, today is really for me uh, probably the nexus of the three most exciting things that I have involvement uh, with at, uh, at the Gates Foundation. Um, first is Grand Challenge Explorations, which uh, is an experiment and it's an experiment that's largely working so far and we're incredibly excited about it. To my knowledge, it is the only truly uh, global competition for new ideas that's really focused on ideas. And although we would like to be more global, like to have deeper reach, um, 
just the, the group here shows in some sense we are making some progress. And I can tell you as we've been through the first couple rounds of reviewing phase two proposals, there really are some truly outstanding ideas. And one of the challenges we face in Grand Challenges Explorations is in some sense we've unleashed a pipeline of more ideas than we can support, both in our own space and in other spaces. And so it's very exciting for us to have new partnerships, partnerships like Grand Challenges Canada, who are interested in a variety of ways of supporting uh, some of this work. And actually we have a other partner in the room, uh, Pierre, and the, his uh, personality of CIHR, which is also a partner in, in Grand Challenges Explorations. The second is, is around the diagnostics uh, work. And um, I've had uh, occasional involvement with diagnostics now for quite some time. And um, I think it's fair to say that largely the progress in uh, developing new and better diagnostics is much slower than we'd hoped. And uh, in some sense, we share with uh, our Canadian colleagues, uh, in some sense, a, a bold hypothesis that part of the challenge in better diagnostics is, is, I guess, two things. One is better defining what we really want. And uh, to that end, the fifth topic in the Grand Challenges Canada Initiative on implementation research will be critical, but also in, in attempting to set standards so that the innovation that goes on in individual pieces of diagnostic work actually has a kind of a shorter path to uh, essentially having some impact in people's lives. The third and probably the most exciting thing that I'm involved with in, uh, at the Gay Foundation is actually Grand Challenges Canada and, and working in a partnership, uh, watching them uh, start and grow from uh, uh, an idea to a full-fledged organization. Um, I think that the, the concept of investing in innovation and investing in countries so that they develop their own innovation and translate it into solutions is incredibly exciting. And for us, we are in desperate need of partners. And the leadership that the Canadian government and Canadians have shown in, uh, in some sense, investing in Grand Challenges Canada is incredibly exciting to us. And I already see uh, dividends, in some sense, being paid in other ways in that I will venture a prediction in a couple short years, you will see other countries, uh, hopefully including my own, following this model and being willing to commit some portion of their uh, investment in development in innovation and not just innovation in their own countries to serve others, but innovation in, uh, in the countries that they're seeking to serve. So thank you very much. Well, I'd like to thank Michael and Pierre and, and uh, Steve all for those very fine comments. And indeed, as, uh, as Michael and Pierre were, were saying, the idea of investing in innovation in a development envelope makes a lot of sense. We know that uh, we're not achieving our goals with business as usual in terms of uh, some of the Millennium Development Goals 4 and 5, for instance. That just means we need to do things in new and better ways, and that's the definition of innovation. Uh, which is actually why it's so important. In terms of the focus on people from low and middle income countries, it's obvious that those are the primary people in the room. That's because of our commitment at Grand Challenges Canada that innovation happens at the coalface, uh, that people at the end of the day need to solve their own problems. And that's the only sustainable exit strategy, if you will, with respect to international development. Um, and uh, as Michael said, I think uh, it's uh, worth us, worthwhile for us all to reflect and just be thankful with respect to the Government of Canada, which on May 3rd of this year, our Finance Minister announced an investment of uh, $225 million into the Grand Challenges Canada Consortium. So we too are a bit of a demonstration project, a bit of an experiment. We're learning. This is our first proposal development workshop. Uh, it is uh, founded on the belief that innovation does have to occur at the coalface. Um, and that when we come together in a community, there's great things that can happen in terms of how we can learn from uh, each other. So um, uh, at Grand Challenges Canada, we're very grateful, and, and I think uh, uh, you um, will all uh, resonate with this, to the Government of Canada, which actually took a relatively bold step in, uh, in funding Grand Challenges Canada uh, Development Innovation, the Development Innovation Fund, uh, because we need to do things differently and better to achieve uh, very important uh, development goals like uh, MDGs 4 and 5, uh, for example. Um, 
So uh, at this point, uh, what I'd like to do is uh, turn to Carly Silver, who's a program officer in Grand Challenges Canada, really responsible for the architecture of, uh, of the workshop and the thinking behind it. Um, I celebrated my 50th birthday on the weekend, and uh, when you celebrate, <laughs> when, when, when you celebrate your 50th birthday, um, what you realize is that the older you get, the more useless you are, and the more faith you have in young people. And uh, one of those uh, young people who really represents uh, uh, the subjective completion to, you know, the uselessness of people who, uh, well, I'll just say, uh, one of the subjective completion to that, but certainly, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, the ability to really look forward to the future with, uh, with a lot of confidence is Carly. I hope you'll have a chance to meet her. Uh, and, uh, uh, and Carly, if I could just uh, uh, give it to you. Do you want to say a few words of introduction? Carly's a scientist. She works in translational research in malaria. Uh, she's a Rhodes Scholar. She did a PhD uh, at Oxford and uh, is doing postdoctoral work, as I mentioned, and we're very glad to have her working with us in uh, Grand Challenges Canada. It's part of our belief that uh, science has to have a very large role even within these organizations. Uh, uh, to understand the needs of scientists. And I, I, uh, as the workshop unfolds, I'm sure you'll see that Carly has uh, well understood, hopefully, your, your needs. So Carly, can I throw to you? And thank, thank you, very you very much. much. Very kind introduction. Um, and I, I'm really glad to be here and really glad to be seeing matching faces with uh, names of people that I've been conversing over email with for the last few months. Um, and I hope to actually shake each one of your hands um, so I can actually really say that I've met you. Um, and thanks for making the trip to Toronto, this would not have happened without, we can, we can provide opportunity, but you've got to take it, and I'm really glad that you have. Um, so you've met everyone who's here, um, in, in some sense, and uh, so that's, that's who the bodies are, and we've got two days, and so what are we going to do with them? And as Andrew said, the main goal of these two days is to um, elevate the level of proposal writing, and this is going to be theoretical in the first instance. We're going to have some great panelists who are going to discuss um, from a reviewer's perspective, from an experienced grant writer's perspective, what are, the, um, what are the key things in making a successful proposal? How do you sell your idea? We, we have no doubt that your ideas are fantastic, but it's conveying that in the, in the page limit that you have um, in, a, in a very uh, persuasive way that we're hoping to be able to uh, provide you some skills to do. Um, and then we're going to get more focused on um, your actual proposals. So you've submitted an executive summary, and um, if you haven't, please do so um, soon. And, uh, and this is going to be the focus of today's afternoon, um, looking at specifics and, and getting feedback from, yourself, from your peers, um, as well as applying some of the, the lessons that are going to be um, chatted about this morning um, by the experienced grant writers and, and the uh, panelists. Um, and then to, tomorrow we're going to have more time for you to actually be doing um, some proper revi revisions on your own um, proposal and, and again applying some of the, some of the lessons that are going to be discussed. Um, and then we've got great mentors lined up um, who are going to be at your disposal both to chat informally about their own experiences and their own ways that they go about writing um, specifically um, proposals or in other venues. And, um, and then you're going to be able to actually show um, your work to them and, and to your peers and get more feedback. And so I hope you'll make the most of this. We want to make it as open as possible. We recognize that there are some um, IP issues around it, but I hope you've managed to read um, the, the article that was sent out on that re regard and, and to recognize that um, we, do want to, we do want to make the most of this um, without jeopardizing um, your, your property rights and things. So. Um, anyways, without further ado, because we are already running behind, which is always a sign of a good, good seminar, right? Um, <laughs> uh, I'd like to get Peter to come back, and um, we're going to get our panelists to come up, and we're going to open it up with, uh, hopefully, what, which I'm sure will be a great discussion on um, you know, what the ins and outs of uh, proposal writing are.